<sighs> Cholera outbreak continues to ravage the country with the Republican president, Hagen Hitlema, cutting short his holiday returning to Lusaka to provide more direct and frontline leadership in the fight against the outbreak. The current outbreak has left families devastated with 618 new cases recorded in the past 24 hours alone. And the Vice President, Motalena Mango, has expressed concerns over the increasing number of brought in dead BID cases. It is very sad, like I said before, and I've said it before, and, before, and I believe colleagues, the ministers, are saying the same. We have to take responsibility. Take responsibility. This dumping of garbage is not necessary at all. If each one of us didn't throw things in the wrong place, I think that the breeding ground would be limited. So yes, the situation is not giving much comfort. Mrs. Nalumango has since urged the public to seek medical assistance at the nearest health facilities if they are feeling unwell, emphasizing the importance of early intervention for both normal diarrhea and cholera cases. She has also expressed dismay at the high number of younger men being admitted for treatment, indicating a concerning trend in the demographics of the affected population. She said this when she visited the patients at the National Cholera Center, Hero Stadium. It's important that the community response becomes stronger. I think that's where there is a weakness. The community still takes it, you know, easy. When I went to the mail ward, I saw many young, young men walking in. They are already able to educate communities. But they are the ones that are coming in numbers. And I think even in the brief, it has been established that it is more of the younger men that are being admitted. I am disappointed with the young men. What is happening? You have heard them call them. How can you continuously contract it? You have the capacity to avoid it. And like a child who doesn't understand, because a child will play anyway. But the, the, the age group that I've seen in numbers is that which we expect to understand. Poor hygiene has been identified as a significant contributing factor to the spread of cholera, prompting calls for improved sanitation practices across the country. Since October 2023, Zambia has recorded a total number of 6,272 cholera cases, resulting in 25 fatalities within the last 24 hours and 249 cholera-related deaths recorded since October. 452 patients have been discharged in the last 24 hours, bringing the total number of discharged patients to 4,868 since October. Meanwhile, 1,181 people are in admission countrywide. The vice president says efforts to contain the outbreak continues with the authorities and healthcare professionals working tirelessly to provide care and prevent further spread of the disease. Esther Nkoma, for Mobi TV News, Lusaka.